Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you is our prayer. We thank God for you. Yes, you, and we do. We really, really thank God for you. And we know that God is able. Yes, he is. No matter what you're going through, God is able. You want to give him glory. You want to give him praise. You want to thank him, amen, for his many blessings. Because that's what he does. He's in the blessing business. Yes, he is. I thank God, amen. For he knows just what you need and how to provide your need. Amen. This is Christian Care Ministries, your host, Louis Ruffin. Amen. And we're continuing uh, with our thought now, I see. Amen. But more than natural eyes, also with spiritual eyes. Amen. Remember, Jesus is both human and divine. But Jesus was tempted in all points, yet without sin. Amen. We were tempted and we have sinned, amen, and we have come short of the glory of God. Everyone has done something wrong, amen, but you don't want to habitually do something wrong, amen. You don't want to be a chronic sinner, amen. Oh yeah, amen. So when you fall, when you fail, just confess and forgive unto the Lord, amen. Oh yeah. Ask the Lord to forgive you, amen. Forgive yourself and forgive others. No matter who fault it was, amen. Just recognize that you're sorry, amen, that it even happened, whatever it was, amen. Because God, <laughs> he's a righteous judge, and he will do what is right, amen. Christian Care Ministries, your host, Louis Ruffin, continuing with our thought, amen. Now I see. May I invite your attention today before we go to chapter 9 of St. John concerning uh, the blind man and his family and neighbors and church people. Amen. Pivotal people in our lives. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I remember what my dad said. He said, uh, stay in church, son. Stay in church. Amen. No matter how bad things get, just stay in church. Amen. He said, I would rather fool with a stick of dynamite than a fool with God. Mm -hmm. And I say to you, it's the same. You're fooling with God's people. Amen. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. You're going to get yours at the end. That's right. It's going to be fire. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, Psalm 103. Yeah. That's what we're talking about now. I see. Because somehow, some way, <laughs> we have not counted our blessings. <laughs> no, we haven't counted. No. Mm -mm. We're not, and it's not even in our mind about how blessed we are. So we look at this scripture here in Psalm 103, amen. Uh, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. you can't see your soul. No, you cannot. No, you cannot see your soul. No. The doctor can get you on the operating table. Now, he can use any instrument, amen, but he's not going to find your soul. No, he's not. Mm -mm. No, uh, that's the invisible part of us that's in us. Oh, yeah, so. And also our spirit, amen. And we're not able to divide them. We don't know the difference. We can't, because we can't see them. We're blind to our soul and to our spirit, all right? Mm -hmm. There's only one instrument. Oh, you are so far ahead of me. Yeah, yeah Hebrews 4.12, yeah. But the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, yeah. Dividing the Sunday, yeah. That's what, yeah, yeah, the word of God. That's what it can do, mm -hmm. yeah. It can divide the soul and the spirit, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to stay in church. Mm -hmm. How can you hear without a preacher and a preacher that was sent by God to preach the word of God? Amen. The blessings, amen, are just rolling. <laughs> you just got to get in the way and get rolled over by God's blessings. Yes. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. You got to know that the name of the Lord is Jesus Christ. He's our Savior. He's our Redeemer. Yes, he is. In verse number 2, Psalm 103, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Don't be blind to the benefits of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Don't forget how he brought you out. Don't forget how he made the way. That's our God. That's what he does. Mm -hmm. And like I said, he's in the blessing business. Yes, he is. 
It makes rich and, and no sorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a new car uh, and you can't afford a new car? That's not a blessing. That's a hindrance. Mm -hmm. Pray your way through. Praise your way through. Amen. And uh, look for God to give you wisdom on how to deal so you can pay what you bought. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, you know how they used to say uh, uh, some time ago, they probably don't say that anymore now, about that your eyes are bigger than your stomach. <laughs> You know, you probably get played up, you know, because it's something look good, looking good. Mm -hmm. Now I see as I thought. Mm -hmm. And so you get all this food and sit down. And pretty soon, oh, my goodness, I can't eat all of that. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a God of abundance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a blessing it is, amen, to be loved by God. Yeah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He's a wonder. Yes, he is. He's a wonder. Mm -hmm. He's a wonder in our soul. Yes, he is. Our God is a wonder, isn't he? He is Mr. Wonderful. Yeah, he's full of wonder. Verse number three, Psalm 103, who forgiveth all iniquities, who heals all diseases. Think about that for a moment. Mm-hmm. Because when you get caught up into something wrong, whether it was your fault or somebody else's, you're caught up into something wrong, amen, you are blind to the benefits of the Lord because he can get you out. You know, there's a scripture for that. 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 10, verse number 13. There has no temptation taken you, but such is common to man. Mm -hmm. It's common to man. Mm -hmm. You know, man's mind. It's a treacherous thing. It's a tricky thing. Amen. Yeah, because there's deceit in the air. Amen. And you could be impacted by the deceit that's in the air. Amen. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Mm. There has no temptation taking you but such is common to man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But with the temptation, with the doing the wrong, mm -hmm, God's going to make a way of escape that you might be able to bear. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you sh you shouldn't have went in. No, you should not went in there. No, you should not. You was wrong. Amen. Now here's the child. Well, somebody got to take care of that child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. You can't turn your back. Amen. You can't be blind to the fact that it's your child because it's been proven. Oh yeah. Your DNA matches. Your blood type matches. Uh, even looks like you. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it was a temptation. Uh -huh. You yielded. Mm -hmm. Now, the consequences, you need to take care of that child. It's your child. Amen. Do not abandon or neglect your child. Amen. No, that child was not a mistake. No, no. That child did not make that mistake. That child had nothing to do with that. That was you and her. Yeah, y'all got together. It was inappropriate. It was wrong. There's the power of forgiveness. But somebody has got to take care of that child. Amen. Why not you? Because it's your child. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't want to go to the court to get it settled and how much you're going to pay? Uh, you're just going to uh, trust each other? Uh, well, that's probably not going to work because you need a third party to monitor that to make sure that you adhere to your responsibility. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. It's best, amen, to go to the court, amen, and you pay that support, whatever it is. You pay whatever you need to pay, amen. God will make a way for you, amen, because you're making an effort, amen, to show the Lord, amen, that I am a man. <laughs> uh, when I was a child, I acted as a child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I pouted. Mm -hmm. uh, I tried to explain it away, but the child is here, and the child needs attention. You know, grandparents are the backbone of this country, especially in our culture, yes. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. grandparents had to step up and do what moms and dads usually do. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a blessing to help, but to take over and be in charge when it's not your baby? Mm -hmm. I was blind, but now I see. I see that I have a responsibility, amen, to take care of that child. Then Jesus say, you know, that I've got to go. Mm -hmm. I've got to do the works of him that sent me. 
Jesus even struggled with going to the cross. Yes, because he knew the consequences of going to that cross was death. Yes. Because, mm-hmm. you know, he knows everything. He knows from the beginning to the end. He declared the end from the beginning. His counsel shall stand. He shall do all of his pleasure. Can you see that? That Jesus knew what he was doing, and he went, and he suffered as a man for you and me, and sometimes we got to suffer through some things. <laughs> yes, we do. We're going to suffer with him, and we're going to reign with him. Bless his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, Lord. Glory to your name, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's a mighty God. Yes, he is. Don't know what we do without him. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I'm going to read that verse one more time for you. Psalms 103. Verse number three, who forgives all iniquities. You got that right? All. He's an all-time God. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. He's a 24-7 God. Yes, he is. He's not like some of us on Sunday. Amen. We're blind to the outside world, and all we can see is Jesus on Sunday, you know, doing that segregated hour. Did I say that? Doing that segregated hour. You know, 10 to 11 o'clock, amen, where you're going here and going there and don't speak to each other all week and you think you're saved and you're going to heaven. You know, (laughs) no, it's not happening. It's not happening, no. (laughs) Somebody's wrong and the word of God is right. Bless his name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. Bless your holy name, Jesus. You're a savior. Yes, you are. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Everything that I need, everything that you need, you need to be able to see that the Lord, he will make a way. Yes, he will. He will provide for you. Yes, he will. I love the Lord, don't you? He heard my cry and delivered us from all of our trouble. He is a deliverer. Don't be blind to that. Now I I see. Verse number four, before we go to, amen, uh, St. John chapter nine, we're still in Psalm 103. I encourage you to read this whole Psalm. I'm in the process now myself of reading uh, 150 divisions of Psalm, yes. And and I just got to reading not too long ago, Psalm 119. That is a long Psalm. (laughs) Yes, it is. Uh Uh-huh. Yes, it is, but there's so much in there that I need. Mm -hmm. Talking about the statutes of God and the meditation, amen. Talking about his word, amen. It's something that I need, amen, so that I know how to conduct myself better, so that I can get better, amen. Uh, And the word of God will pull you up. Yes, it will. The word of God will lift you up. Yes, it will. The word of God cannot be altered. For there is a scripture in that Psalm 119 forever. Thy word is settled in heaven. It's already settled. I was blind, but now I see that his word is forever settled. And so when we look at Psalm 103, mm -hmm, who redeemed their life from destruction. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? All right, I'm going to read it again for you. Who redeems your life from destruction. People have written you off. Yes, they are. <laughs> oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. They, they wrote you off. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, but thank God you defeated the enemy and you landed on your feet. Oh, yeah. And you thought because you made a mistake that people were through with you. Well, yeah, they probably were. And that's why you didn't need them in your life anyway. You got the one that's able to do all things and to do them perfectly, talking about Jesus Christ who redeemed uh, your life from destruction, who crowneth you with loving kindness and tender mercy. See, you are seeing loving kindness and tender mercy, and they're seeing destruction. And you're going to win. No matter what you have to go through, loving kindness and tender mercy is going to bring you out. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But you can be blind to their destruction. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, there's a portion of scripture, uh, a woman uh, praying, you know, Hannah, uh, in the uh, first Samuel uh, chapter two, I believe, 
Amen. Uh, she talks in that first verse there about smiling <laughs> at her enemies. Oh, yeah. You can smile at You don't have to fight your enemies. No. You can smile at them because the Lord God will fight your battle. Now I see. Mm -hmm. For the battle is not yours. It's the Lord. Amen. Let him fight that battle. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who redeems your life from destruction. Who crowns you. <laughs> With loving kindness and tender mercies. How good God is. Uh -huh. He was that blind man in chapter 9. Mm -hmm. Set and begged all his life till he became a man. Mm. And Jesus came by. Yes, he did. Yeah, he passed by. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he just had a battle uh, with the Jews. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because he told the Jews something that they were blind to. Uh, what did he say to the Jews? In that uh, eighth chapter of John, uh, verse uh, 58, that's a powerful, powerful uh, scripture. Uh, yes, it is. Powerful scripture. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a wonderful, wonderful scripture. Oh, my. This is a marvelous scripture. I'm talking about uh, John 8, 58. It brings together the word of God. And let you know that there's only one Lord, one God, one Savior, one Deliverer that's above all in this 858 of John. Yeah. Have you read it before? Uh, look at it. Think about it for a minute. Amen. Ask the Lord to open your understanding like he uh, talked to those disciples on the road to him. You know, he opened their understanding concerning him uh, from Moses I mean, and to all the prophets, you know. All things concerning him, because this Bible is all about Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus said unto them, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the Jews. Yeah. Uh -huh. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Yeah, and it reaches us today, you and me. Yeah. No, we are not Jews. No. <laughs> no, 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 we're not Jews. No, no. There are many nationalities, uh, many ethnic groups, amen. Many tribes, many kingdoms, amen. Everybody is not a Jew, just like everybody is not a Christian. People call themselves Christians. They don't even know how many times Christian is uh, reported in the Bible. No, they, no, they don't. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't know the circumstances or the context of how that word Christian came about. When you even look at that word, look at the first part of that word is Christ. If you don't believe in Christ, you definitely are not a Christian. <laughs> now I see. I was blind, but now I see. And Christ loved everybody. Oh, no. No, no, no. You, you cannot be a hater <laughs> of God's people, amen, and be a Christian. No, you, no, you cannot. No, you cannot be a betrayer mm -hmm. like Judas, the uh, son of perdition. Yes, he was. Yeah, he was lost in hell forever, amen. And there's going to be a whole lot of people that's going to hell because hell is enlarging itself to take those that want to go. Amen. Because you have to want to go to hell. Amen. Because the Lord has provided a way for us to avoid heaven. Yeah. And he's also provided us a way to get to heaven. Amen. So it's up to you to choose which way you want to go. Mm -hmm. Heaven or hell. Uh, no, you're not, you're not staying here. No, you're not. <laughs> you're leaving here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. You see those letters? Uh -huh. You were blind to this scripture before, right? But now you see, I am. Mm -hmm. uh, where else did we see this? I am. There's so many of them in the Bible. But let's just go back and, and check out Exodus uh, and Moses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am that I am. Here we are right here. I am. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you were blind to that, huh? Uh, now you see it? Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, that Jesus spoke out of that burning bush? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Abraham? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, he talked with Abraham. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He, he visited with Abraham. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, he came uh, to visit Abraham. Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. You know, God can be whoever he wants to be. And he can be as many as he wants to be. Isn't a portion of him in you just like it's a portion of me uh, in me? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no. Jesus is the fullness of God. No, no. We just have a portion of God. That's, our, that's right. And it's our measure of faith that we treasure. 
and we have to gold mine. We have to mine that treasure. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Amen. Bless his holy name. Mm. You know, it's hard to sit still when you've got the power of God on you. <laughs> yeah, glory to Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. We're talking, amen, about this 858 of St. John. Before Abraham was, I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's the I am that I am. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So this man uh, that was born blind, amen, he had to speak up for himself, amen. Uh, listen, you uh, you lived a, a worldly life, but now you got to speak for yourself and say, no, I'm a believer. I'm a, a worshiper. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. and, and not uh, bound by tradition or ritual. Amen. Mm -mm. No, no. Mm -mm. But I have the spirit of the Lord in me. Amen. So I'm no longer my own. I was bought with the price. And that price was Jesus Christ, his blood that was shed for you and for me. No, not the 30 pieces of silver. Amen. Uh, that was a bargain price, wasn't it? 30 pieces of silver. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, don't be like that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't sell Jesus off. Amen. Don't do it. Don't do it. Value him too much. Amen. Treasure him too much. Uh, he was blind, but now I see, and I'm he uh, that sees. Yeah. Praise his holy name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we look at that about the neighbors. Amen. Amen. They wanted to know, you know, how did this happen? Or how did you get your eyes open? He said, it's a man is called Jesus. Made clay and anointed my eyes. Amen. And said unto me, go to the pool of Siloam and wash. I went and washed and I received sight. Now, I see, yeah, that's verse number 11, yeah, chapter 9, yeah, mm-hmm, does that number get to you, does it bring back memories, 9, 11, mm-hmm, caught unaware, mm-hmm, just great country, caught unaware, uh, did not know what was going on, and it was an earth-shaking thing, oh yeah, it impacts us even today, that horrible scene, uh, 9, 11, oh yeah, oh yeah, blind to the fact, mm -hmm. taking things for granted, thinking everything is all right, talking about peace and that and all that, mm -hmm. uh, blind, 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 but now I see, mm -hmm. oh yeah, that was a terrible thing, and families uh, have not gotten over it yet, it's a memory that's embedded, amen, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, can't bring back before because of that traumatic experience, that that moment in time, that 9-11. And here we are in 2020. Mm. Part of this is impacting 8 million people. Mm. 8 million, yeah. Uh, that's uh, about the size of the city of New York, yeah. 8 million people have this uh, virus. This coronavirus, mm-hmm. Uh, that's a traumatic thing, amen. Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, leadership got you in that, yeah. Got me in that, yeah. Didn't want to be in that, anybody, but in that, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I carry my mask with me. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, that's a sign, amen, of not paying attention to those that have warned this nation about what's coming, Yeah. Our former President Obama, mm -hmm. 2005, I believe it was, or some, sometime like that, uh, said there should be a national plan for a disease disaster. And then uh, there was Bill Gates, amen, uh, uh, so involved with the World Health Organization. Yeah, mm -hmm. but did not listen, was not prepared, and still not prepared because this virus is on the increase. Mm. Oh, God, help us, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Lord, we need your mercy. We need your loving kindness and your tender mercy. We were blind hmm, to what disaster this virus would bring. Now I see my 
friends and my family and my acquaintances, even a stranger has been impacted by the people with insurance and people that don't have insurance and people of all levels of life because of poor leadership. Oh, God, help us, Lord. Mm. Oh, God, we come to you praying, asking for your divine help, for your divine interference, oh, God. In the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, we are in a mess. Uh, oh, God, in the name of Jesus, uh, we can't help ourselves, Lord, like you can help us. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have the knowledge uh, on how to deal with this, Lord, unless you give us the knowledge uh, and the wisdom and understanding. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Huh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, now I see. Now I see. Mm. Oh, yeah, you know, this is just a, the spirit uh, of stupor, amen. Yeah, mm -hmm. a spirit of deceit, yeah. It's not new. Oh, no, it isn't. He was deceived. Down to the generations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it's been a curse uh, so many times, being deceived. Mm -hmm. Weapons of mass destruction. No weapons. No, no, no weapons. No. Oh, glory. Mm -hmm. Millions die. Mm -hmm. Go throughout history. Things have happened, amen, uh, because we were blind and we did not see, amen. We got to get on alert. <laughs> we got to pay attention, amen. We got to set our priorities, amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so much to do, isn't it? Now I see, amen. Thank God, thank God, because God will never lead us down a wrong path. No, he won't. Men will, women will, but God never will. And he said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. I'll be with you even until the end. That's why you got to get into the word of God. That's why you got to stop sitting around and begging, but you got to get up and go into prayer. Amen. Mm -hmm. My people, what you call by my name. Hey, uh, Second Chronicles uh, 714, it is so real today. Mm -hmm. If we could have a national day of prayer, a national day of praise, amen. If we could be uh, as smart as the city of Nineveh, amen, uh, the top guy, amen, uh, the king, and everybody around him went down in sackcloth and ashes and didn't eat or drink, uh, even the animals, amen, for three days and three nights, amen, they sacrificed, amen. They wanted to get God's attention, and this nation, this world, needs to get the attention of our God, mm. Because he's our soon coming king. Yes, he is. Uh -huh. uh, bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm. How are your eyes open? He said, uh, this man, Jesus, he anointed my eyes. Don't we need our eyes anointed so we can see? <laughs> yes, we do. We need some anointed eyes so we can see. Oh, yeah. We need the anointed word of God. Yeah. So we can see. That's right. Amen. Mm. How can you hear without a preacher? There's so many preachers that are preaching, amen, uh, that are not anointed. No, they're not anointed. No, they are not. They are not anointed. No. <laughs> no, they're not. Because there's a famine. The Bible declares there's a famine. Not of food. Well, yeah, there is a shortage of food in some places. Yeah, sure it is. Mm -hmm. All because people have made choices. They were blind to those really in need. Amen. Now, just about everybody's in need. Amen. Because uh, there's no paycheck. <laughs> no, there isn't. Mm -mm. No. Uh, there's no money coming in. Uh -mm. No. Uh, you you were the one that talked about people with handouts, and uh, you don't understand how come uh, some people are always uh, looking for help, and they need somebody uh, to help them. Amen. And then, uh, look, now there's a whole lot of people that's never had to ask for help before, but now they're helping. You know, the Lord has a way, don't he? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the Lord has a way. And we need to get into the Lord's way. We need to see what the Lord wants us to do so that we can move forward in glory and praise and honor and thanksgiving to our soon coming king, the king of kings and the Lord of lords, the great I am. Mm -hmm. Now I see. Surely we need uh, some anointing, amen, uh, in our lives. Yes, we do, amen. We can't make it, amen, without God's anointing. I'd say to you today, I was blind, but now I see. Only if you will see Jesus, he is the great I am. God bless you today. Heaven smile upon you is our prayer in Jesus' name.